We have some very rich data analytics in terms of preparing what we know is coming in. Uh, obviously, we, are, we have a very resilient and experienced um, team of associates that have gone through Matthew, Maria, Harvey, Irma in the last couple of years. So um, we know how to prepare our stores. Uh, and um, at obviously 7.15 when we hit landfall this morning, uh, we knew what to do. We, we always take safety first, and obviously our thoughts are with uh, all of our associates and our customers and families in the Carolinas. Um, but we use a three-tiered approach, which is plan, protect, and then restore. So we're right in the protection mode right now. Typically, how long does it take after the storm passes to get trucks with fresh produce and fresh goods back into those stores? I mean, if the roads are flooded and you have other literal obstacles in your way, how do you restock to make sure that food, obviously it's so basic and everyone needs it, is, is there on time? Yeah, Courtney, we, we source very locally. So um, we have immediate response uh, from our local farmers to be able to actually restock our shelves immediately. So we're very, very quick. Um, we strike that balance between uh, people, our, our associates are our greatest asset, and, and therefore protecting our associates. But we also believe that our customers need to be able to count on us uh, especially in times of need like this. So it's a balance between protecting our associates and knowing that our associates and customers can count on us, but getting local produce on the shelf really, really quickly. Anthony, we have spoken with some people who have concerns about the crops that are there locally. If this is an issue where you're talking about extended floodwaters um, that, that, that really make their way inland as well, that that could have a huge impact on many of the crops that the Carolinas are so famous for. Do you have backup plans if those crops aren't available? Yes, absolutely. What's different um, from Irma last year um, is that actually this is, has more concern regarding the flooding. Uh, it's actually a slower storm by speed, but it, the fact that it's actually slower actually means there's actually more rainfall. So we'll back up within our neighboring states. Um, whether it's Florida or Louisiana, or we may have to go to the West Coast of California. Um, and so we have backup plans both inside the country and outside the country. So, Anthony, when a, when a person comes into the store before a storm hits, what do they walk out with? What are the, what are the three <laughs> things they buy? Yeah, it's really interesting, Tyler. Um, when we do our data analytics and watch what our customers actually buy, then there's the obvious uh, products like bread and uh, water. But then what's also interesting is that we get a, quite a large pull on other products such as batteries, candles, and then posts. So we get to that third tier from um, plan, prepare, protect, and then, and then restore. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we're able to provide vaccinations, for example, tetanus shots. We have a world-class pharmacy team. And so... Um, we, we, we know which products on, a, on, a, on literally an item-by-item -item basis our customers are looking for. And we actually tell them, those that are new to the area, we actually say these are the top 10, line, the top 10 mm -hmm. items you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, had, I once done, did a documentary on supermarkets, and I asked a similar question, and, and, and the response was milk, bread, and toilet paper, which was the <laughs> outlier right. to me. I don't know. Yeah. The, <laughs> and you know the other one, Tyler? No. Fear, fear, fear. Probably not, that, probably not that surprising, but alcohol. Yep. Yeah. Alcohol, oh, yeah. yeah. Courtney and I. Yeah, we knew. <laughs>